a place you can just put up something just for them there but i told my auntie she disagreed i was so 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 angry but i've been dependent like depending on somebody you know okay. hi guys good afternoon and welcome back to my channel if you're here for the very first time my name is stella you can just subscribe and comment and like on my video and if you're a returning subscriber thank you and may god bless you remain blessed for coming back here to my channel today's video today's video is about a story time of how i was once an akara seller before coming into this school of nursing i just thank god for everything so it goes like this when i when i finished my ss3 i was staying with my auntie then so she she used to sell um akara bones she used to fry it sell it in the market so and i used to help her with this i normally help her in frying it we used to wake up very very early in the morning to prepare everything so after i was done with my ss3 i don't know what to do then they did not allow me to start up a work or they did not allow me to find a job where i'll be working for somebody i i got a job where i'll be selling where like where they are selling wine they 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 called me to come and be selling market i don't know what to do now i don't have anything to say i, I just have to obey everybody just obey them in everything they say so I don't know what to do then nobody was giving me money pocket money you know now girl stuff to buy things you know anything we see enter it enter our eye <laughs> so i have to find up find something to do to to be getting money for my daily upkeep or whenever i get hungry so and i had to and i was not thinking thinking what am i going to do what am i going to do and i said okay maybe my auntie used to fry a car and, and i know how to fry a car uh, that's beans uh, beans ball ba? yeah beans ball so i was not saying what am i going to do now like my mind now went there that yes i know how to do this thing you can just do it maybe you will sell it maybe people may buy it from you so one faithful day i went to market i was like hey i went to market i used i used um 1200 naira to start up that business I I bought three cup no it was that three cup four cups of beans then beans was was not costly how it is now it was not costly then so I bought everything for the bean cake early in the morning I washed the beans uh, went to grind it in engine fry it and carried it house to house house to house they were like ah oh, this akara is very sweet you know your auntie can fry akara her akara is always good. I was like, I'm the one that made it. They said, what? You're the one that made you were the one that made this thing. I was like, yes, wow, you tried. And the thing was very, 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 very nice. So from there, gradually, gradually, and I had to like be making it in a big way. Like out every Saturday morning, I would normally sell up to 5,000 in a day. Just a karao, hot a car, 5,000 every every Saturday morning. So from there, and I have to be getting small, small money for upkeep, you know, anything I want. I'll have, I, I don't even have to ask all, all this power, the women's stuff, anything I want. I don't have to ask my auntie for money. I'll just use my money and go and get it. There, there, from that Akara, I saved up to it. I saved a lot of money. I saved, so before I started this thing, what was in my mind like was like, uh, if I carry this, how can I be carrying a car house to house? Is that not like I'm a big girl? I can't do that. I say, hmm. I was like, no, no, no. Try it first and see how it goes. So, <laughs> and it went well. People like people liked the Akara and they bought it very, they bought it very well. I sold very well. So from there, I now had to get more money and oh, I saved up to, I saved money that I use in starting another business again I save money to buy um, spaghetti, carton, tomato, um, salt and many things and I had to carry it in the wheelbarrow, wheelbarrow to market and be hawking it in the wheelbarrow selling it so 
before I entered into school of nursing then I don't even know that anything school of nursing is going to cross my path like I'm, I'm going to enter into school of nursing so one day I was like I was still selling that market when my uncle called me to ask me what I want to do before I told him that I want to study nursing so he now had to you know enroll me into this school i was so happy and that my store of those things that i was selling and i had to give them to my auntie to continue the business so my advice to other girls or any teenage girls adult for me adult mm -hmm. any oh, yeah, adult no, watching this video and you are a girl maybe you don't have money to for your upkeep your parents don't normally give you money for upkeep you don't know where to get money you don't have to depend on anybody to get money for your upkeep you can start up a business not that you start up an akara business so i'm not advising anybody to start up akara business but akara business is also good so if you don't have money to start up and you don't have money for upkeep you have to you you can find can some, some business yes yes i'm coming you can find any business of your choice and start up some things that you will do like it will help a lot it will help you a lot you don't have to depend on anybody for something it will make it will make you you depend on yourself like you have self-control it, it will make you to have self-control you don't have to show yourself to boys before you you can get something so that's what that's the advice i have for anybody watching and video. please and my own advice do. is okay please if you're staying with anybody <laughs> let me just stop laughing if you're staying with anybody actually and um the person will be like you you actually want to do some certain things like to actually be getting some pocket money for your upkeep and if actually the person disagrees don't, don't just conclude that the person doesn't have actually doesn't have a reason for disagreeing you just take it that way maybe the person is actually trying to like you know make you <laughs> be industrious make it be um workaholic like you know something like actually the way her, her auntie refused like disagreed with her working in the wine shop is not actually from her from some people's own perspective they might see it as a bad thing but to me i don't really see it as a bad thing because maybe she wanted her to know the thing like to learn the thing she was doing and which she actually did and you see even i think when she worked in the wine shop maybe something would have happened or maybe boys that stay looking at her and then start harassing her sexually or otherwise or even her butt might start you know all this butt burst though they might start doing something so i'm just trying to advise maybe you would want to go and start selling being a sales girl or something but then it's not actually profitable actually in future i think to learn a work is actually profitable than selling some, yes, something yes, for somebody yes. like to learn a handwork yeah to learn a handwork sewing all these mm -hmm, kind of things those kind of things like sewing hairdressing cake, makeup yes. uh -huh, baking of cake all those things and some chops knowing to do knowing how to do them is actually pays because in future you can actually use it to add up to your profession like yes, as your nurses yes, yes. if i actually know like me i know how to bake cake so if, as i know how to bake cake now and some other chops i can actually add it up with the one i have like when, when i'm actually not on duty after my profession i can actually just keep up doing it use it to entertain myself and you know if you know how to be if you're industrious you know how to do many things you can actually get what you want without yeah let me say something or oh, this baking of it baking of something or frying mm -hmm. something if you know how to do all this small chop like puff maybe yes. if you get married or if you are working in do it and maybe you can share it with people or you, maybe you don't have anything to eat or something like you can just fry something and and then your husband yes. will be proud of you yeah, no. right. then he get married to you and be like mm, i don't know how to do all this shit you just see it outside you just pass it's not why you don't know how to do all those things now you're you just marry if your husband still see it outside because you don't know it he will actually stop and get what he wants but in a case you know how to do all those things he'll be like there's no need spending my money let me just buy the things that we need to use and do this thing if i go back to the house my 
have this stamp do the thing i want instead of buying it outside from people you know better for you to know how to do it yourself i'm not actually saying it like for you to stop buying things actually but if actually you don't know how hygienic they used to do this stuff how hygienic the place is where they used to do it you actually ask yourself man i need to know how to do this stuff so uh, you don't actually eat somebody's boy one day <laughs> man well, okay. actually that's my advice so this please is not subscribe Wendy. to stella's white sea please we are here for you to give you the entertainment you want <laughs> This is not Wendy. She's yeah. my friend, my stubborn friend. She's very, very stubborn. This girl you're seeing is very stubborn. I'm not stubborn. No so, no guys, um, I think I'm done here. If you love this video, please subscribe to my channel and like yeah. my video. Yeah. Thank you. For thank more you, thank you, updates. Thank you, thank, you, thank, you. thank you very, very much. Thank you very See much. See you on my next video. Bye. Bye.